No, it is perhaps true to say that <clears throat> most uh, modern people, Western people, are attracted to Buddhism because of the qualities of the Dhamma that the Buddha always stressed and which are often chanted every day in many Buddhist temples and places. They are the uh, qualities of the Dhamma uh, known as uh, Sanditiko, uh, visible here and now, apparent here and now. The teaching of the Buddha is something that we can see with our, with our own eyes here and now. It's akaliko, it's uh, not dependent on any particular time. We don't have to wait until we die or until the, the world comes to an end before we know that it's true or not. Uh, it's ehipasiko, it's uh, encouraging our investigation, it's telling us come and see, see for yourself. It's opanaiko, uh, that means it's relevant to our lives, it uh, should be applied to our lives because it's, it's very relevant <coughs> to our very existence. And it's, it's pachatang vedita bovinyuni, it's to be individually known, individually realized, each by themselves. Mm, now, although these um, qualities of the Dhamma, uh, which are chanted as part of the Dhamma Anusati, the recollection of the Dhamma, by many, many people who call themselves Buddhists, um, yeah, these are well known in that form. Uh, the question is, you know, do all Buddhists actually practice Buddhism and conceive of Buddhism in that way? You know, do they actually respect the qualities of the Dhamma and the way in which the Buddha taught them in the way they apply uh, Buddhism in their lives? Now we can have a look at the broad, rich variety of different Buddhist traditions. You know, there is the Theravada and Mahayana and Vajrayana. There is sub-schools and lineages and teachers with their groups of disciples. Uh, many types of <coughs> um, Buddhism that we find in, in the world today or in, in, in Buddhist history uh, or simply uh, in the area of meditation itself. There are so many uh, systems of meditation, meditation techniques and so on. Mm. Now what is interesting is, is just to examine and investigate and for ourselves. Uh, how is it, you know, do these different uh, Buddhist groups, so-called Buddhist groups, are they actually true to the principles of the Dhamma uh, as an idea, and the, the, the highest idea, the leading idea, the good idea that we wish to follow in our lives? Or are they simply making Buddhism into an ideology? Now what is an, an ideology? Ideology is uh, usually defined as a system uh, of thought uh, which uh, is charged with a certain emotion usually and which presents the kind of worldview in, in oversimplified or overgeneralized terms. Uh, by ignoring and, and putting aside many uh, aspects of reality in order to um, guide a, a particular group of people to action, to acting in a certain way, behaving in a certain way. <coughs> and these <coughs> ideologies uh, can usually be 
summarized in the form of a, a few basic statements about the world, reality, uh, which are, as, as, as I said, are just oversimplified. They just uh, sort of zoom in on a few uh, aspects and take them out of context usually um, and present them in a kind of emotionally uh, charged way. And through that, they lead to a biased perception of the world, of reality, and they can be used in yeah, various ways, skillful or unskillful ways, to lead groups of people to a certain way of behavior, to control a certain group of people, or to uh, just um, impress one's views on, on that certain uh, target group. So ideologies can be potentially very dangerous, as we see from the history of humanity. And that does not just apply to the uh, sphere of politics, but also religion, because religion, uh, when it's taken out of the that individual sphere, becomes a political issue. Uh, it, it has to do with groups of people and, and the behavior of, of groups. So it necessarily becomes a political, political issue where ideology can definitely play a role. And we see that it, it does often play a role. Uh, I think in terms of the Buddhist teachings, we could call it a dictatana, which is a, a term best translated as a standpoint for views. You know, when we take a stand on a, on a certain a limited uh, a view, viewpoint and we hold on to it, we, we really attach to it. It becomes one of the, the four types of grasping, holding on to views, the dikti upadana, grasping on to views, holding on to views. And the Buddha often points out that uh, you know, this is not this is not what uh, Buddhism is about. This is not what the Dhamma is about. It's not not uh, the purpose of the Dhamma is not to just uh, impress a certain uh, ideology, uh, a fixed way of seeing things on the people. It's just the opposite. It's to encourage uh, investigation, uh, examination of of the way things are, of reality. Uh, um, there are passages in the suttas, in the Pali texts, where the Buddha asks the monk, he says, you know, do you see this teaching, you know, do you see it for yourself, or do you just say that out of respect for me, you know, because you, you treat me as a kind of guru, and, and, and the monks reply, no, we, we really say this because we have seen this for ourselves, and, and the Buddha says, Good, good. That's how it should be. You know? 